guys, this is Paula Rhodes with What's Trending, and yesterday, Hillary Clinton announced her candidacy for president, surprising exactly no one. This, of course, marks the second time she has run for president after an unsuccessful bid in the primary against then-Senator Barack Obama. Hillary's campaign was announced on social media. She put it up on Twitter. Of course, people knew it was coming. They talked about it all day on NPR and otherwise. On Twitter, she says, I'm running for president. Everyday Americans need a champion, and I want to be that champion. She also posted her first campaign video called Getting Started. So I'm hitting the road to earn your vote because it's your time. And I hope you'll join me on this journey. Now in the video you see all sorts of people getting ready for a big year in 2015 with anything from like gardens they're planning to babies they're having and then Hillary herself coming up and saying she's getting ready to do something to run for president. Of course it's long been thought that she would be the front runner in the Democratic primary but Hillary's not resting on those laurels. She says that she is hitting the road to earn your vote. And of course last week Republican Rand Paul announced his candidacy and he immediately put up a video in response to Hillary's announcement. Uh, a little ad of his own called Defeat the Washington Machine. Hillary Clinton represents the worst of the Washington machine. The arrogance of power, corruption, and cover-up. And it lays out Rand's plan to beat said Washington machine. His plan is threefold, including balancing the budget, term limits, and making congressmen and women read legislation before voting on it. It's not already required. Yeah, that sounds safe. Now, being as these were both put up on social media, the one thing that, that I personally would like to note, Rand actually disabled all the comments and liking on his video. Uh, well, Hillary did not. So in pure social media standards, that sort of means she's got bigger balls. Now, in case either or neither of these particular videos appealed to you, don't you worry. There will be lots more political videos this year, so you can hopefully find something that appeals to you or that you hate. Uh, now there's been a little bit of criticism because of Hillary's new logo that she's debuted, which is a, a blue H with a red arrow pointing to the right. A New Yorker's Emily Flake had this response, I'm just not entirely sure a big red arrow pointing to the right is the best logo for a Democratic candidate. Is all. Fair point. Right. Fair point. Oh, mm, yes, the, the right, right and, the, and the red. Right. At Five Fits says, Hillary got millions in the war chest and got her cousin in them to Microsoft paint a logo that looks like a neighborhood clinic door sign. What kind of stupid company makes a logo that's just two colors and one letter <laughs> and an arrow? Really? Just an arrow and two colors. Can you, can you, can you tell like, what kind of dumbass logo? Arrows are great with letters. We're a big fan here. WikiLeaks even responded and accused Hillary of ripping off their logo, which also happens to have a red arrow pointing to the right. Do you think she's like secretly announcing some sort of like team up with WikiLeaks? Is that a? No. Who had the better ad guys, Rand or Hillary? Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and then click over here to check out this lip sync battle, a battle of another kind, between Anne Hathaway and Emily Blunt.